Prince Harry has released a dramatic Hollywood-style trailer for his latest Netflix project. Heart of Invictus is a five-part documentary focusing on his sporting event for veterans and includes the Duke making an emotional speech about family. If your goal was to make your family happy, you've achieved it. My dad just scored there. Clearly someone sees something in me. You are people of substance. Well, I watched that trailer. I was really moved by it, actually. The fact is that these people have done extraordinary things. And, uh, and I was very impressed by the trailer. And I think it, it, it will be very interesting to see how this plays out on Netflix. Well, I'm joined now by Talk TV's royal editor, Sarah Hewson. Sarah, what did you make of the trailer? Also, just in terms of uh, Harry's image, we've talked a great deal over the last few months about how he's viewed amongst the public. Obviously, his, his ratings were at record low levels. This, to me, may be the beginning of something of a comeback for him. Yeah, I shared your view, David. I felt quite emotional and moved watching this trailer. It is incredibly slick, but it's also incredibly powerful as we hear the stories of these military veterans and the impact that taking part in the Invictus Games has had. And yes, I think this is the start of the next phase for Prince Harry and getting the focus back on his charity work. And the Invictus Games is his greatest legacy, I think. The event that he founded back in 2014, inspired by his journey back from Afghanistan on a repatriation flight when he was there alongside the coffin of a Danish soldier and wounded British service personnel. He then went on to attend the Warrior Games in the United States and decided to found the Invictus Games to try and bring some kind of healing through sport and to celebrate uh, these veterans and to give them a sense of community again. And it is now coming up to the sixth Invictus Games taking place in Dusseldorf. And we've got the heart of Invictus documentary coming out on August the 30th. It's been a long time coming. The filming for this was taking place back in April of last year during the Invictus Games at The Hague. And Prince Harry, as we see in the trailer, was speaking on stage there. It's a third of the Netflix projects that we've seen coming out of that $100 million deal after, of course, the six-part documentary, Harry and Meghan. They also had their project Live to Lead uh, about inspirational figures and now Heart of Invictus. And, and, you know, we'll have to see what the actual documentary is about. But from the trailer, this isn't about Harry. This is about others. And I think that will be very refreshing. I couldn't agree more. I think this is Harry at his best. This is this is when I think the country unites around Harry. You talked about Harry and Meghan there. I'm also minded of Bill Simmons from Spotify and that £20 million deal, you know, talking about the fact that, well, let's just say not in the most glowing terms. Yes, uh, he called them grifters, he didn't did. he? I am going to uh, put it in the politest of ways. And um, that was after the loss of their Spotify podcast deal. The Netflix deal, you know, we, we hadn't seen an awful lot, although, of course, the Harry and Meghan uh, documentary series was hugely controversial. It was also hugely profitable uh, for Netflix in terms of those viewer numbers. Uh, but now seeing this heart of Invictus and we've had the news about another project for Netflix, they're going to be making uh, a rom-com. We're also expecting Harry to be travelling to Africa at some point to make a documentary on his own uh, there for Netflix. But this, if we start to see Harry putting the focus back onto the charity work, onto the work that he does through Invictus, through Centre Barley, uh, for example, then I think a lot of people will start to see the old Harry do, do you think he's actually worked out where he went wrong? Um, look, when it comes to this couple, they don't listen to advice very much. And I think that's <laughs> clear from a lot of the decisions that have been taken. But they have had to have a rethink because, look, things haven't been as easy as they might have expected to make a new life for themselves outside of the royal family uh, and in California. It hasn't gone as they might have expected it to be. And I think they've certainly had to have a rethink. Megan has got new talent agents. She's expected to be relaunching her lifestyle blog, The Tig, and Harry getting back to what he does best, mm. particularly when it comes to military and veterans. I think he's on very comfortable ground here, and I think others will welcome seeing him back there. I couldn't agree more. Thank you very much indeed.